What's up guys and welcome to another video. We are located in the beautiful Seychelles. I'm currently on the island of Mahe, which is situated off the east coast of Africa, four and a half hours away from Dubai, right in the middle of the Indian Ocean. So the current situation is I am waist deep in these tropical waters situated north of the island of Mahe. This is Bouvalon Beach, which is this massive stretch of beautiful beach. And the reason why I'm starting my trip off here is because I actually quite like to be close to the action. And this is reasonably close to the capital, Victoria. And on the beach itself, there's loads of hotels, lots of restaurants, cafes, and vibey little activities to get involved in. So uh, let's go and check it out. Whoa. So we are currently on this little back strip right next to the beach. I am extremely thirsty, so I'm gonna grab myself a coconut. Why the hell not? We have a selection here. Hello. Can you add coconut, please? Two coconuts. Drinking coconut? Yeah. What, what, are these eating one? This is more to eat, yeah. Right. I want coconut too. Okay, two drinking, one eat. Take this one. It's small to drink. Cook it all. Jesus, that's so fresh. <laughs> I think my chest's got quite a lot of that. That was the first time I've eaten fresh coconut and it was extremely good. Mm. Oh, no. Oh. It appears behind me we have an outdoor gym. So it would be rude to uh, not get a quick pump on. Training back today. Back day. <laughs> it's too far away. That's gonna be too heavy. <laughs> oh yeah. 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 Yes. Two more. One. Two. Good. Rest. Now we're gonna do the other side. Can't have any imbalance. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Strong. Well done. Now pose. Oh, yes, very good. The future champ. These are really cool because they've got like the plates locked in position so you can't steal them. Oh, okay, <laughs> you can go again. That was, it was my go, but he's not going to let me train. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh. All the way down, you've got to go a little, little bit lower. A little bit lower, all the way down, 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 down. <laughs> Interesting form. Yeah, that's good form. That's it. Yes. Now it's a vertical leg press. Yes. Amazing. <laughs> Very good. Creative. This is a bench press and a vertical leg press, guys. I'm going to drop it. Three, two, one. There we go. My turn now. Okay. Oh, yeah. Cool. There we go. Who needs a gym membership when you can just go to this gym? Bah. So that's a chest press. Shoulder press. Bah. You can do a full body workout here. I don't know what this one is. Oh. Hello. Hello. Right on YouTube somewhere. YouTube. Yeah, YouTube. Yeah, yeah. It's, well, what made you come to Seychelles? It's beautiful. Beautiful. Right? I've, I've never been here before, and I've been to Maldives twice. So I wanted to see this place. Yeah, I, I seen it. I was like, I was, I was like, I know him. I seen him somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Nice meeting you. Good to man. Good bro. So famous. Like Dustin. Keep the training. <laughs> this is an interesting one. It's <laughs> <laughs> not very good that one. Oh yeah, this is a good one. Tricep dips. A little bit of chest, but mostly triceps. For an outdoor gym, I would give that a solid 7 out of 10. Yeah. Can I get two fish fillets with rice? Sorry. No fish? No oh. fish, but there's, there's like 10 million out there. <laughs> okay, can I get the chicken with rice? One of them with extra chicken. Chicken. Chicken, not chili. Extra chili, I will die. Da -da 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 -da. So, this place is called Leo's Food Bus. The reason I came here is because I actually had really good reviews 
And really? if you eat in the hotel all day, every day, first of all, you're gonna get ripped off because it's super expensive. And second of all, the food isn't that great. I mean, it really depends on the quality of the hotel that you're staying at. But since you're here, you may as well explore and try out some of the local cuisine. Chicken and rice. Good. Mm. Good man. I approve. Oh god. Well. It's a little bit spicy, wasn't it? So there's a spot behind me called Boathouse, and even though it looks extremely ratchet, I can confirm the food is pretty damn good. We were there last night and they have a buffet on between like 6.30 and 8.30. It was very, very good. And it was all you can eat as well, which is another bonus. Also quite dangerous. Right, now we're at the top of the beach. You get quite a lot of steps in, just walking up and down this beach. So, the beach is there. We've just come off the beach and walked straight to our villa. This is villa, a place called Story. I chose it because it looks semi-decent. It claims to be a five star, but I don't know if it's really a five star, it's more of a four star. I do have some experience of hotels in my time. It comes with a pool, has some sunbed, and uh, I'm gonna rest, refresh myself. So this is what the villa looks like on the inside. Pretty spacious, high wooden ceiling. Thankfully, you've not come across any geckos yet. And then the bathroom is also pretty damn nice as well. Big bathtub, huge shower, and this really cool outdoor little bit. But you have your own garden and shower. So far, I've been taking showers outdoors. Why the hell not? Anyone for a game of chess? Anyone? I'll just replace. <laughs> so, guys, it is the end of day one. We just checked out a place called the Beach Shack, which was actually surprisingly quite good. The food was on point and it's a pretty vibrant place to go and have some drinks and watch the sunset. Now, nine o'clock, there's really much to do. A lot of things are closed, so we can have an early night and then start with an early one tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. It is the following day and we have checked out the hotel and we're going to another island. So the way it works is we've had to come to the port just in Victoria, boarding a ferry, which I believe is one and a half hours to La Digue. Hopefully it's a pleasant ride. So just for all those people who are interested, the price of the ferry was actually surprisingly quite high. It was 70 euros. And that seems to be a bit of a trend here on the Seychelles so far. You would think it would be cheap, but it's actually quite an expensive place to go to. If you come to the Seychelles looking for a cheap trip, it's probably not going to be that cheap. Touchdown La Digue. La Digue, La Digue. Touchdown La Digue. The boat was about an hour. It was pretty nice actually. Fairly pleasant. Noticeably, I can tell already that the water is clearer. It's more blue and the rocks by the beach look absolutely stunning. So we're gonna explore the beaches as soon as we checked into the hotel. Hello. Hi. How are we today? Yeah. Good? Good. This is uh, our main village here. So on this bicycle. island, you can only get around by bicycle. Yeah, you can go with the bicycle. You live here all your life? Where are you from? I'm from India. I'm just come from Wales. Ah, it's a beautiful place to work. Yeah, it's a work, it's a long time, it's like a, not much activities. Yeah. But for, for short, short time, it's good. Oh, a wild Adolfo has been spotted. Welcome. 
So guys, just checked into the hotel. I'll give you a little tour later on. More importantly, we just picked up our bicycles, which will be the main mode of transportation on this cute little island. How are we feeling, guys? Feeling great. Yeah. How are you feeling, brother? Oh, I'm feeling amazing. Feeling this like is a vibe. This is a vibe. You reckon you could live here long term? Nah, I'd get bored. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good place for getting out of Dubai, though. This is a retirement life's place. Over, yeah, life's kind of like finished. Yeah. Hello. So we we're on the way to the beach and uh, we just stopped off at this place called the Granite Monolith, which is a very impressive rock feature, but we just noticed down below, there's a load of giant turtles. They like the neck bean stroke. <laughs> so we have made it to the beach and this is honestly one of the most stunning places I've ever been to. Doesn't even look real. The palm trees, the rocks. Don't tell me to pronounce this exact location because I'm going to butcher it. I'm going to put it on the screen. Don't know who called it that, but that's the name of this place. And it is absolutely insane. And surprisingly not that busy. I was expecting a, a spot like this to be full of tourists and people basically doing what we're doing, but uh, pleasantly quiet. How's it going, Rodolfo? Really good. Look at this. This is insane. So, so nice. <laughs> She's doing a lot of cardio today. So. <laughs> right, now, I'm gonna open it. <laughs> Kick it. Oh. Wow. Wow, bro, drink. <laughs> That's gonna be none left. <laughs> That's the way. It's good. Mm. Yeah. That's good. Thirsty for more coconuts, eh? Yeah. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. The freshest selection of fruit. My God. Jesus. I'm not going to drink water anymore. I'm just going to survive off coconuts. Very cool. So guys, apparently this just seems to go on and on and on and there's like three or four main rock formations. Fun fact, I have absolutely no idea how they were formed, but it looks like they actually, they look, it looks so good, it looks man-made. Now we're going to rub our face on that. Come. Wow. What the hell? Also, word of warning, the sun is extremely strong. I thought I was a, a seasoned sun veteran. But on the first day, I made a rookie mistake and uh, didn't put protection on my shoulders and back. And it is absolutely killing me. So make sure you wear extra protection when you're in the sun. So for anybody who isn't aware, I have a couple of businesses and one of them is a clothing company which primarily focuses on swim shorts for men and bikinis for women. And this is the spot that we have chosen for the first campaign of 2023. So, I mean, we can't really argue with the location. It's gonna be absolutely stunning. So we have two female models who are twins and we have two other male models, including myself. Every now and then I'll get myself involved. Why the hell not? So let's go and start with the shoot. Oh, hey guys. How's it going so, so far? Very oh, good. Wow. So Have nice. you seen the pictures? Oh, so cool. I'm enjoying that call. Good picture. Yeah, <laughs> that, that, for your personal phone. I swear. <laughs> Ladies, what do you think of Seychelles so far? Amazing. Oh I don't want to leave. <laughs> <laughs> So guys, who is in a mood? She is in a mood. I'm not in a mood. I'm in a mood. You're in a mood. I am in a mood. I We're not in a mood. I'm not in a mood because that was the first day of a very successful shoot. Literally could not have asked for a more stunning location. We've got another day planned tomorrow, but the sun has set. The light is about to disappear. So it's probably best that we uh, find our way home before we get lost in the wilderness. So guys, after a successful day of shooting, it is of course time to eat. 
Didn't really know where to go in particular, but we came past this spot which had a fresh barbecue and the smell was just going straight into my nostrils and I had to go and see what was going on. This place called Natural Bar and Grill, it's very cozy. Looks as though they do some fresh fish and meat, so let's go pick that up. What's the best? Fish and octopus. You didn't try the octopus. I didn't see octopus. No, 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 no. I had the fish, but I've ordered the full fish. Yes, yes, yes. But you, you, you cannot eat octopus or you don't? No, I like octopus. Maybe I should order that as well. Uh, uh, well, look at this. Caught local. Of course. This is fresh. The fish and the octopus is the only thing that we Well, I know what. I need to get them. Here's the octopus. The boat. Nice. Nice. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Some seats there facing the ocean. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Mm. Fun. There you go. So we just finished a lovely dinner. The fish was extremely fresh. However, it has started to pour down with rain and we need to make our way back home. So we're gonna cycle back in the rain. Hopefully we'll survive. And I'm gonna go to bed. And hopefully by the time we woke up in the morning, the storm will have passed. Good morning, everybody. We are back on the main island after another boat trip across. Unfortunately, the 1.30 boat was fully booked, so we had to get one at 7.30, so that was an early start. Anyway, we've checked into our new hotel, this beautiful resort and spa, which is located about five minutes away from Eden Island and there's a huge fish in there so this this is a very different vibe to what i've experienced so far i feel like i'm more in the jungle compared to uh being on the beach but uh it's very relaxing in fact that is our room there it's a completely separate building there's another one opposite it and then the spa is there and the rest of the hotel is here so uh, this is going to be a very peaceful and relaxing stay for sure. So we've just come to the front of the hotel and we can see the marina here and there's two absolutely massive yachts park up there so these three there's another one further back there just goes to show that there is definitely some wealth on this island and I feel like Eden Island apparently is an artificial island which was actually put together by the same machine which dragged the sand and built some of the artificial islands in Dubai apparently so I'll take a look at that later on but there's some nice houses and restaurants on there and a mall so I've heard Hello and welcome to Lescal Resort and Spa. This is quite a stunning apartment, if I do say so myself. This room is one of the suites which comes with two bedrooms. So we have a lovely living room here. The interior design is absolutely marvellous. Very cosy indeed. Straight in front of the living room we have the balcony with the pool, some beds, tables overlooking the spa, the hotel resort, and the beautiful mountains up there. And then we have two bedrooms. One bedroom here, which I guess is not the master bedroom, but it's still a sizable, beautiful bedroom. And over here, we have the master, which is definitely more spacious, and it definitely has a better bathroom as well. Super, super cozy though. Love the interior. Looking forward to my stay here for the next few days. We have sorted ourselves a car for the next few days. Finally, got some freedom to roam around the island. So this car was 70 euros a day, which isn't too bad, but definitely when you compare it to getting taxis everywhere, it's a hell of a lot cheaper. Um, bit weird. It feels like I'm going back to how I originally learned how to drive. 
the steering wheel is now on the right and everybody drives on the left here. So uh, it should take some readjusting considering I've spent most of the time driving in Spain and Dubai, which should be cool. The roads here seem pretty chill. They're not too busy, but apparently they're quite narrow. So uh, now we're gonna go and head off to a beach. It is eight in the morning. The sun is out, so we uh, wanna make the most of the sun being out because it will most likely rain later on. So we have made it. This beach is called Asni Royal Beach. It's another beautiful beach. I think it's probably one of the more accessible ones. You can literally park on the beach. So um, I'm gonna spend a bit of time here, snap a couple more shots, and then we're gonna try head further south and search for some more beautiful beaches. And we've just touched down at another beach. This is Intendance. Beach, I believe, but this one is further south from the island. It's actually on the other side of the island, and the water is so goddamn blue. It's unbelievable. The waves are pretty rough as well. It's very calm. This one, there's like literally nobody else on this beach. There's maybe about five other people, and then there's a little coconut shack and place where you can rent some bodyboards. But yeah, this is this is another one of my favorites so far. Here we have the tortoise enclosure. So hard. Knock, knock. Mm. Apparently they like a good little scratch on the chin or the neck. He likes, the, look, he's coming closer. He's enjoying that. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> There's definitely a tortoise theme here. You can find them pretty much all over the island. <laughs> You think he's gonna bite me? No. He hasn't really got teeth, he's just got a big nose. Oh, he doesn't care. He doesn't care. Oh my god, I'm so scared. You gonna take it home? I'm, I'm scared to hurt you. Whoa. It's like the roots of the tree. Above ground. Be a nice little nest for something. It's a Pandanus sanderi. Pandanus sanderi. And this is Anus de Miguel. Let's continue the talk. <laughs> what the fuck? Nice, sir. Look how spicy it's like um, a sea urchin. Touch it. Chop. Soft. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> Very soft. Oh my god. Ow! It depends the way you do it. It depends if you poke it really hard <laughs> or just stroke it. Yeah. Fishly found a mango tree. A lot. Wow. Might not be mango though, it could be another fruit. It's mango! Baby is a mango. Could be another fruit though. <laughs> okay, it's definitely a mango tree. Pretty impressive. Mango. So we just stopped off at the cafe, which I do recommend you stop off at because it is serving some delicious treats and coffee and even food. Of course we had to go for the treat because I am a little fatty. We've gone for a coconut nougat, which is delicious. Maybe it's a local thing, I don't know. I've never had it before. And coconut ice cream, but my goodness. When you combine them both together, it is an absolute party in the mouth. Oh my God, beautiful. Now we are on our way to the center of Victoria, which is the main town here. So far, haven't seen much. 
there's a massive mall there, or what used to be a mall, but apparently, um, according to the taxi driver, there was a nightclub on the roof and there was a fire. So uh, that's completely ruined the mall and it's now abandoned. And then we have this building here, which again, looks pretty abandoned. Quite a lot of abandoned buildings here. Shouldn't be the case when we get more central. And by the way, there's stray dogs everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. I feel like in Dubai, you have cats everywhere. And then here in the Seychelles, you have dogs everywhere. Dogs and crazy trees. So we have just stumbled across a little market. Apparently Seychelles China Day. I don't know if this is a one-off or if it's a regular thing, but we'll have a little look around. So you guys live in the Seychelles? Yes, we live in Seychelles. And this, this only happens once a year? Yes. Why? Is it Chinese? Because Chinese New Year. Ah. <laughs> Is there a lot of Chinese people in the Seychelles? Yes. There's a lot? Yeah. Trying the beef? It's good. Very smoky. Smoked to the maximum. So we just climbed up a reasonably steep hill to go to one of the old traditional restaurants here, Mary Antoinette. Hopefully I'm going to try some local food. It closes pretty soon. In fact, a lot of places close on a Saturday at one o'clock and don't open again until Monday. So keep that in mind. There's quite a lot of stuff we haven't been able to see due to it being the weekend. This place is cool. Tuna steak. Tuna? Mango salad. Mm. Green salad. Green red snapper. Rice. Chicken coconut curry. Carrot fish fritters with the chicken Creole sauce. Fresh chicken. This one's very spicy. And this one is the coconut sachet. This is all local food? Yes, it is. So we stopped by this cozy little restaurant which serves authentic Creole food, which is food of the Seychelles. This place, Marie Antoinette, opened in 1972 and by the looks of things, they're doing an amazing job. I can't wait to try everything. We have a bit of a tasting platter here, which is 800 Seychelles, what was it, rupees? It's 800, whatever that is. If you ever wanted to know how tortoises reproduce, this is exactly it. <laughs> oh my goodness. I feel bad for the female. I think I, I make a similar sound, don't I? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so we just finished that assortment of lovely local food. Do you know what? That's like the type of food that's made with love, like proper love that your auntie or your grandma makes. Very wholesome, very satisfying. Ding dong. Hello. Yeah. You're okay? Oh, yeah. You're good? So this is without a doubt the best gym on the island. There's a couple dotted around, but not as good as this. Fully equipped with techno gym equipment. A lot of free weight stuff and dumbbells that go up to about 50, 60 kilograms. So can have a very good session in here. So a couple of thoughts on Seychelles that I think will probably help you guys if you do plan to come here. First of all, definitely make sure you select the best time of the year to come. I wouldn't recommend December or January because it rains a lot. Obviously you'll get periods of sunshine in between the rain, but sometimes there's days where it literally just rains nonstop. And there was, we had three really good days, but there's also three days where it just rained and there wasn't really much else you could do because it just was relentless. So that's annoying. I think the best time of year to come is April, May, apparently. So I'm probably gonna come back around about then and see the rest of the island. I would recommend if you are coming here, spend a couple of days on the main island, Mahe. 
but don't just stay on Mahé, go to other islands as well, go to La Digue, go to Pralin and spend a bit of time there. A couple of nights, that should be enough, but some of the most beautiful beaches and bluest water are on the other islands. I would say it is reasonably safe here, I haven't had any problems, there's loads of security at the hotel, so that's also a good thing. Surprisingly, it was a lot more expensive than I thought it would be. I think that's just because when you look around and take a look at everything, you just expect it to be cheaper, but taxis, food, and other random things just seem to be a lot more expensive than you'd think. But I think that's largely due to the fact that this is an island in the middle of the ocean, so pretty much everything needs to be imported. I would also say in comparison to the Maldives, because I've often kind of this, had this thought of, oh, should I go to the Maldives, should I go to the Seychelles? The Maldives, without a doubt, is beautiful. You could argue the water is even better than it is here, but all the Maldives islands are pretty damn boring. You literally have your resort on an island, a tiny little island, there's not really much to do. So I kind of prefer the Seychelles because there's so much on offer. This place has some amazing hikes, some amazing beaches, and you can even kind of just walk around and get stuck into local culture. The Maldives don't really get that. It's literally just your resort. And I would also say cash is king. There's a lot of places here that don't accept card. And there's also a lot of ATMs, particularly on the smaller islands that are really sketchy and a lot of them don't even work. So just make sure that when you come here, you've got a lot of cash and uh, you'll keep yourself out of trouble. So we're at the airport now, ready to fly back to Dubai, Seychelles. You have been amazing. I hope to come back very soon and I hope you've all enjoyed this video. So if you have done, make sure you give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel. See you in the next one.